Hi there. So today, it's a little chilly out here. As you can see, I've got my long sleeve on and my long pants on. Um, I'll probably still be in my flip-flops, so I can't, I can't do socks yet. Um, but it's like 55 degrees, I think, so it's really chilly. I think it's September 22nd today. So it's getting, I mean, it's, it's fall. I hate to admit it. I've got a couple um, river birch trees there that are almost completely yellow, and one of them is like dropped about, I don't know, a fourth of its leaves already, so it's kind of sad. But I thought I need to get out in the garden and kind of do some trimming up of perennials and hosta blooms and just kind of clean everything up a little bit. So this video is all going to be about cleaning up my garden. So I got my um, green bag. I'm going to get my clippers and some scissors and of course my gloves because I, I think I actually see some poison ivy like right over there popping up in my front flower bed. It, it could not be, but just to be safe, ugh, gotta get gloves on. So, alright, let's go clean up my garden. So I'm gonna get started in the front flower bed here. Um, I've got some cucura in here that needs the blooms trimmed up off of them. You can see, I'm gonna go in and trim all that off, and then I'll probably clean up the hydrangea a little bit more. And I think that, that that will do with this bed. The rest of it still looks pretty dang good. See, I always make <laughs> movies at the worst times. that looks a lot better. I didn't cut off as many of the hydrangeas as I could have, but I just don't want to take too much of those off. I think they provide a little bit of uh, winter interest and I kind of don't mind the burnt looking blooms because it's kind of a nice fall color. But anyway, the heucara look a lot better. So this area is all done. Okay, now I think I'm going to move Maybe we'll start down at the peak down there in the gully and start cleaning all that area. This is where I had that big wisteria tree and I actually moved it further back because it was getting a lot of sun after I transplanted it and it wasn't too happy so I just put it in more shade. I've got some hollyhocks here that look like they have some sort of disease so I'm just going to chop those right off. Um, I think I'm going to leave the coneflower blooms because the birds like to eat those but I do have some um, red hot pokers in here. I've got three of them. I do need to kind of deadhead those and trim those back a little bit. So I think we'll work on the hollyhocks and then we'll get the red hot pokers. Some little girls think their daddy's name. He was built real strong like an oak tree stays. But when the whiskey turns your daddy to the devil, then you pray that you never see the back of his hand again. We grew up just south of the devil and my A little farmhouse. On the hill where the kickapoo flow. Daddy worked hard every day at the sawmill. When he come home, it was straight to the bottle and a show. So say, Daddy lost his mind when he got the knock upon the door. 
He went straight to the bottle and he never came back again. Well, they searched high and low for my big brother's body. So we regret to inform he was in my ain't never found. So daddy filled the casket with a hundred pound pine log. And we buried it deep.
But these heuchera have been in here, mm, yeah, since last year. I had two die back on me. I think these were silver gumdrop, maybe? Um, so I'm going to pull those out. I'm pretty sure they're dead. I'll check if they have any sort of root system, but I'm pretty sure those are dead. And then we'll move down there and take out those weeds. Okay y'all, I'm pretty sure I just pulled some poison ivy with my gloves. So I'm gonna run inside real quick, um, throw my gloves in the trash can, and uh, not touch my hat, or otherwise I'll have to throw my church, my peace church hat in the trash, and I'm pretty sure Jesus would not appreciate that. So let's throw the gloves away. Um, Let's wash up our, scrub up our hands real good so we don't get a poison ivy outbreak on the body. And um, we'll be right back. gloves and we are ready to keep going I just have a few more hostas down here at the end of the path and then I think we're gonna bump up here and get those a stobi, and then we'll work our way around um, to the rest of the hostas it's pretty much just like the hosta blooms right now that need cut back everything else like still looks pretty good besides a few weeds here and there so let's go mm -hmm. Strong like an oak tree stays, but when the whiskey turns your daddy to the devil, then you pray that you never see the back of his hand again. We grew up just south of the devil in Maui, a little farmhouse on the hill. Kick up a flow. Daddy worked hard every day at the sawmill. And he'd come home, it was straight to the bottle and it show. So say, Daddy loves his mind when he got the knock. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're all done for now. I pretty much got the left side of the house done um, in the gully garden and then also along the house there. So maybe we'll do the other, the back side and around the pool another day. Um, I gotta get inside and get dinner started. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. And um, as I walk back up, we'll show ya what it all looks like and my husband just kind of got done blowing some of the leaves out so hopefully it looks a little better but thanks for watching Bye. and he didn't even cry not another word was said he went straight to the bottle and he never came back again when the day we lost my brother we Straight to the battle